Okay, good morning. Today is Saturday, July 25th. It's, oh th it's 3 a.m. And it's about time um, I usually wake up when I'm working here. This is JediRich.com Studios. This is for Ridley Scott and Kevin McDonald's casting or whatever, whoever they're looking at. What they wanted us to do was to do it in the day of the life. So this is, um, I just woke up. So if I'm out of it, there you go. So this is what we have to do. I already started because I forgot where I started. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, July 25th, 2020. See planet Earth, Las Vegas, Nevada. The current time, approximately 3 a.m. Come on, we have Bruce. We do this at night for a reason. A couple years ago, in 2017, the county passed a law making it illegal to feed birds. So, what I have to do is I have to come down here at night. Oh gosh, there's people out here. So what I have to do is I have to sneak out here in the morning. And I, I've trained the birds so they all know where to come. And what to do Someone looking for something out here. I'm not sure what he's looking for. There you go. So I had to look out for security. So what am I afraid of? I'm afraid that on a daily basis that someone's going to see me and they're going to see me feed doing this, which is spreading bird seed. And then they're gonna find us twenty-five dollars. That's my biggest fear today, right now. So what I do is I spray it out. Yeah, you got a nice big toss. Here, no one saw. Now all I'm doing is just looking at the trees. Stars, if anything, are asking me what's going on. Okay, and in the morning, in a couple hours, you'll see this place will be filled with birds. <laughs> so that's what we do here in, in the morning. But here comes security, so I'm gonna eat They didn't see me. I, 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 always, I see them way down there before they even get a clue what's going on. It's part of being a Jedi. This is day in the life. And this is what we do every day almost. Is, well, there you go. I went and fed the bird to check it out. Next, what I'm going to do now is start working on some editing here. Got a couple projects. Someone's actually paying for us for a project, believe it or not. So, that's due on Wednesday. So, I got that loaded up here. And we got some messages coming in. This is something kind of interesting. Okay, so what Jedi Joy does, I'm telling you what, she's an escort, okay? So what happened is right now is someone texted. We live in Las Vegas. You, you've heard that there might be escorts in Las Vegas. Have you ever seen the Hangover movie? Yeah, well, where did they come from? Who are they? They're real people. And here you go, that's us. Someone has to do it. It's a dirty job. So what happens is people text in the middle of the night. So what these guys are doing, they got a text, so let's see what we have. No, no, text me. Okay, 
Come on, let's go have a bong hit. Weed is also legal in Las Vegas. So that's one of the things we do. So I might come around this time or maybe a little earlier, maybe around midnight or whatever. I was up late last night, so that's why um, I just woke up just now. Come on, time to do some bong hits. Okay, so where, where we live, we live in what's called a weekly. And what that means is that we pay rent um, every week. It's a different way of living. You know, there's no lease or anything. And I believe we've lived like, Jedi Joy and I've lived like this for, since we've been married. It's July 25th, and Jedi Joy just woke up. Jedi Joy, this is Kevin. <coughs> This is for this is Kevin McDonald, and I don't know if Ridley Scott's gonna see it, but this is Kevin McDonald's project. This is day in life. This is my wife, and she just woke up. So just this is exactly what happens every day. Here she is. No, he wants to see the raw thing. He says. Okay. That's Jai Joy. She's used to that. She's a U.S. Air Force vet, combat. I get up. And then I gotta start cleaning up everything. Oh, do you? I don't know this part. Oh, yeah. I clean up everything from when Jai reaches awake and I'm asleep. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna clean up my. Over here are our bottom things, so I'm gonna start cleaning these. What so is these this? are um, the, our things for the, for the bottom. They're the, the little funnels so that you can do a bottom hit. You got this here, so I. I started to clean them out to use pipe cleaners. I like to get them all cleaned up. It's Monday thing. I don't know what the time now. That's why they're so plain judge. I wonder how they've got some Oh, yes. Um, oh, I got some 409, you guys. So 409 is an issue right now uh, because of the COVID. So check it out. So they haven't had any available. So I went on Amazon, and I ain't messing around. Oh, gee, yes, I am messing around. So, why is that not too cold or something? I needed my cleaning supplies, so I did the same with the Windex. And the 409, Amazon, Amazon is amazing, because you can't get it, and the prices are going through the moon. With the COVID for cleaning supplies, they're getting more and more expensive. Uh, it's insane. So I did that, and then I'm going to show you guys my little supply closet that I've had for since the COVID. Now you got to keep your stuff all, you know, you got to get your supplies ahead of time because sometimes we're running out of things, especially when we don't have a car. But I order, so look at what I've been doing, you guys. With the sink, you know, show you my supply closet. Here we go. So I got my wipes, because we don't use toilet paper. I got my, I, these are the wipes I like, you know, the Huggies. But I had gotten all these as backup when it was getting really bad for a minute from gas station. I got these little Charmin plush rolls. I'm going to use them and then these are really chunky wipes I got. Oh, these ones are good though. Oh, I forgot I had these. These are the best. Seventh generation. Uh, but anyways, here's my extra sponges. Because when I, once I clean that sink, that sponge is done. Yeah, I got, I got my paper towels. So this was all during the, since the COVID, I've had to make sure to suck up because I used to only get like one paper towel. I didn't buy like in bulk, which this is a better way to buy, but we were such a small place, but ever since the COVID, I'm like, man, you never know. They ran on paper towels, toilet paper, all kinds of stuff. So after I clean the sink, toss that sponge and get myself a new one. I just got it out there. Bam. Clean up the dishes here. Clean my supply closet. Clean up the dishes, and then I'm gonna do a bong hit. See, I got a little, all these little chores in the morning. I got to dry these off. These are my cones, remember, from my weed. So the whole thing started. Oh, and then Jedi Rich has non-stop glasses. Glasses are everywhere. So I always pick up glasses and move them back into the studio. I'll go put those up over here. 
back in this, I put the glasses back in the studio. He just has glasses everywhere. Now Topo Chico's are my favorite. So Jar, okay, so I've been having to buy Topo Chico's uh, in big packs because it's cheaper that way. And sometimes it's the only thing that's available and I order it online. I also get it in Walmart if, you know, if I'm going to Walmart, but as soon as when they send a big pack, it doesn't all fit in the fridge. So Jenna Rich was making fun of me the other day. I had some in the drawer. And I, I look like an alcoholic. Cause look at this. I got like stashes of bottles. But check out what it is. I'm just don't put jingle marijuana. <laughs> but he's like, what are you got there in the drawer? Oh, those are my extra Topo Chico's. It is Saturday, July 25th, 2020. 0400 hours, zero eight minutes. Go ahead and tag and scan this whole location. Tag and scan me and Jerry Rich. Let's get all the- Copy that. Um, so Sal here, return all the negative, sis, positive, sis, and um, let's clear everyone for everyone and reward everyone like sis and especially all, all the Jerry, all of our friends, everyone here watching. Especially Jared. Copy that. 0400 hours, 0400 hours and 9 minutes. 0400 hours and 9 minutes right now. So we have options here, which is amazing. Which um, I'll show you over there. But we have Blackstar. This, these are all hybrids. That's why I did green for hybrid. Um, but Blackstar is an indica dominant hybrid. Grape juice is an indica dominant hybrid. Lemon Jack is a sativa dominant hybrid. And then Desert Snow is kind of like 50-50. I don't really remember. We haven't been doing that one in a while. These are just some, actually, and then we have a little lemon kush. Um, these are kind of ones that we just had a tiny bit left. But up here we have extra sashes of all the other ones too. So we love weed. We are huge uh, proponents for um, uh, telling people how important weed is and it saved our life. So that's our weed closet. If I needed to, I could grab one of those and come over here and we grind our weed. We literally have a coffee grinder to grind our weed. Um, and <laughs> people would think, oh, don't you lose some of your weed that way? You're grinding it. We have to be very careful. You just do it really quick. And then uh, actually you don't lose it because what happens is when you make the weed, when you grind it, we put it in these jars, it's a lot easier to uh, put in the thing. So this one is a grape juice that was already ground, so I don't have to grind it. I'm not gonna do this one. I'm just gonna show you that. I'm gonna just start with Lemon Jack this one. So we have the three options over here. I have Lemon Jack, Black Star, Grape Juice. I'm going with the Lemon Jack this morning. So you guys, we have the stacks, and this is an ice chiller. So this is how, this is what happens for a ball game. I gotta go get some ice over here. We have these little star trays. And we have a bowl of ice, but this is almost gone, so I'm gonna pop. But these are the coolest little trays, you just pop the back of them. Bam. Ah. Yeah, I just heard that. So much easier than most ice trays, because they just pop the little stars. Some of them are a little bit harder if they get really frozen, but they just pop out of there. Where did you get that? Amazon, everything. <laughs> Cause we don't have a car, so people are like, why do you get so many deliveries? You're like, well when you don't have a car, like you'll buy everything online because things that you normally just run to the store, you know, like I go to the store for some things, I go to Walmart, but man, if it's anything that we don't need like today, that it can come tomorrow for like, uh, when some things, you know, if you do Amazon Fresh or um, the Whole Foods, you can get it today, but like some supplies, you know, if you're like, oh, I don't need that for a couple of days, you just do Amazon and they deliver, with, you know, um, the next day delivery usually for most things. If you're a Prime member. So we bought these ice cubes, like I did these stars ones because they fit and you can squish them in there. Like they, they're kind of like not strong enough so you can really force them in there because you don't want to, got to be gentle with this thing is you don't want to break the glass. But the stars don't like keep the form. We tried the squares and they were too hard to push in. Push in a couple of ice. This helps filter our bong and chill it. So 
Then I used all these cones that I cleaned off. And I'm gonna do lemon jack. It's my favorite in the morning. And the smell of it is my absolute favorite. So I just gonna smell it first. Well, this one is um, um, a very citrus because being it's lemon jack, you smell a lot of lemon, which is my favorite. The um, citrus is the, the favorite of the terpenes that I like because there's citrus, lavender, um, pine, mint, and uh, like uh, the earthy. And um, the citrus ones are like the elves. Lysine, Lionel, Lionel, and the smell is just such a strong, strong citrus with a little bit of earthy tone to it too, and it's just, oh, I love it. I could just smell it all day. But we just pop our cones in our wonderfully ground. We do, this one grinds up really nice. This was the lemon kush, and you don't want that much. So I take the spoon and you take off the top there. You want it just to be like right at the top of the cone. Too much and you can't really light it. So I just make it flat. Try not to lose any on the table. We probably lose a little. We have a little jar that sometimes we, if we get a bunch on the table, scoop it in there. But there you go. Now I can do my first bong head of the morning. We use matches because we like it better than um, lighters, and I I always burn myself with lighters. Which, which, which color matches do you like? <laughs> oh, yeah. I like these green ones. Now, there's two types. Let me show you. I'll grab them really quick. This does two types of matches, and the green light ones are way better. I don't even know why, but I'm telling you, when you go to, when you go to light them, they just light different, the red ones, and they're literally red and literally green. The matches are actually red and green. The green ones, these ones are like more, um, I believe better for the environment too, the green ones, but they're actually better matches, it's the weirdest thing. Like they light different, you know, the red ones just like light and they don't smell this, it, it, it's just weird. I think they're also economic or um, eco-friendly or better than the other ones. Okay, here we go. Um, so like we're pre-ripped, so um, I, I only show this because I want to explain. No, I don't even go to the gym. Also. Some people think I'm too thin, but they're just not used to like thin bodies anymore. But here's the deal. I was clean this is, I can do you clean. This is the daily life of me. I'm always cleaning. So um, okay, let me get another tip to you. So I felt, I'm, I'm filling up the ice tray to put back in here for the bomb. So, we, so next time we'll have ice. I'm gonna grab another topo chico. Oh, well, it's a good stack of these. We used to like Gerald Steiner's, but then they stopped letting me order them during the COVID. They would not, like, the system would not let me order them. It, was, it would take them out of my car. I couldn't order any. So I was like, so I started looking in the Topo Chico's, and now I like Topo Chico's better. It's like, so I feel bad. Gerald Snyder even followed me on Twitter, the company. But then the system of Amazon would not let me order their waters. So since the COVID, and you're going to go into your diet, what, 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 how has that affected you? Oh, well, we're going to move to Panama. No. Yeah. Oh. Oh, sorry. You what, do you oh, what do you spend your days oh, doing? Oh, yeah, because here's the thing. During, before the COVID, I would pretty much, you know, um, I'd go to work on the strip, and then after work, I'd stop by Walmart and get everything I needed all the time. That was usually my routine, whether it be daily or every other day. Very easy. Even without a car, I would just Uber there, and they were open 24 hours. No problem I would get, because we eat all organic beef. They always had organic beef. No problem. After the COVID, everything changed. For one thing, Walmart's hours changed. They're only open from 7 a.m. till 8, 8.30 p.m. or 8 p.m., sorry, 8 p.m. Now, you think, okay, well, why can't you go during those hours? Well, I actually tend to be up earlier, so I like early morning and late night. Actually, waiting till seven is really long for me, and sometimes we run out of food. And then I can't go till seven and we're really hungry. So we only eat organic beef, organic greens, as in kale and collard greens, organic garlic, and uh, water. That's our diet. So and like over here is organic bones. 
So during the COVID, they started running out of all of the food because people were panicking, especially in the beginning, and they're buying up all the meat. We we even ran out. We had to eat chicken a couple times, which doesn't settle well with me um, because of the GMOs and stuff of what they're keep feeding the chickens corn. Anyways, it's a whole story. I do blogs on this, um, but they also were running out of everything. That's why I have the supplies. But <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> the reason why we do the all organic beef is I was bulimic for over 15 years and my husband was also was bulimic when we got together we were bulimic together and the last time we actually lived in Panama we were bulimic together now we're going to move back to Panama that's what's happened after all of this COVID thing here in Vegas because Vegas is going down the toilet right now I mean it'll probably recover in a couple of years but it's going to be a rough couple of years here in Las Vegas I mean if you guys don't know much about Vegas it's it's sad to see right now I mean, it's like a ghost town. Most of the casinos are closed right now. Only a handful are open. Some of them are not opening at all. Some of them are not opening for a couple years. It's just a mess. So, um, and then just the nightmare with things, you know, not being able to get supplies. People are still panic buying. They're still putting limits, which is very difficult for me because I buy a, a big quantity of beef because that's what we eat, organic beef. But they started putting these limits on how much you could buy. And same with the water. And so um, that's how that whole thing started. So even when you order online, it was saying, oh, no, you can't buy any more water because you bought X amount of water yesterday. Even So it was saying, like, from – and one time it didn't let me order for, like, a week water. Not any sort of water. I could not order a gallon of water. I couldn't order – one bottle of water, nothing. If I put water in my cart, like on the online shopping cart, we do online because we don't have a car. Um, and it was actually becoming the only option for a minute too, to, was to get it online for some things. Like some things I had to order from Amazon Fresh, which was not about having a car. That's just an online thing because there was not nothing at the stores. So I'm having to check Amazon Fresh, Whole Foods. Uh, so Amazon has Whole Foods and they have Amazon Fresh in some places um, in Vegas they do. So I was going to do that and Walmart. And I do all three now to just get our basic daily supplies. But the reason why we do such a strict diet is because we were bulimic. Um, and I was bulimic for 15 years and I destroyed my vocal cords. I'm getting my voice back and that's why we sing. Bulimia means is that you eat your food and throw up if you guys don't know. But what, so what that also means is you're gonna eat a highly sugar diet because bulimics are, sugar is the thing that's the easiest for your body to digest in the sense of like quick energy, but that's a bad thing because it's gonna get all stored as fat. You want something that's actually harder for your body to digest, like a protein where you gotta break it down. Sugar is just the instant, especially in liquid form. So bulimics and most of society is highly addicted to sugar right now and that's what's causing the weight problems and also caffeine we don't drink caffeine anymore as you notice we got up and we had water and weed instead of making coffee I used to make so many pots of coffee a day like saying I made 10 pots of coffee is probably not an exaggeration we were not we didn't even drink water we just drank coffee which is also dehydrating we were living in Las Vegas only drinking coffee for years I mean water would be like in the coffee you know what I mean but what's crazy about coffee is you're supposed to be drinking at least two glasses of water per every cup of coffee and no one does that but the thing about caffeine the issue with caffeine is that um, your body stores fat because it makes you produce more insulin and I'll tell you why really quick so here's the thing Caffeine is something that... Okay, we don't need to go into a caffeine okay, bar. Okay, All I wanted to do was just explain okay. that... Okay, let, let, and also, when I talk, wait till I finish talking before you answer because I can't use it because I'm talking. You're talking over me. Mm-hmm. And, then, and, then, and, he, and then I can't clip it in because it's got... Like, why is that guy talking right now? So, wait till I finish. And I'll put this out. And I'll, but just... just uh, I think you covered it in there. But, yeah, basically, like, you know, believe me, it doesn't mean... That, like, I think a good way for people to understand is like, hey, the sugar addiction. So I think we covered that. Um, what are we on now? I think that's it, right? What are you doing? Um, okay, great. So I didn't need to do the caffeine bug. That was great. And what's the next thing we do now? I'm going to get some soup. Bro. Right. Okay. Right. And then I'm going to take a bath. Did we explain the diet yet? Did we go through that? 
I just want you to talk about the massive sugar addiction that's playing like okay, well we eat yeah I'll just tell you right. whatever whatever you think I mean I don't even remember what you said it was all great it was all yeah great. I said that about what we ate yeah I said what we ate okay great so let's uh, cut and then go ahead and be in the life right now okay so I'm gonna have some of our organic bones and then I'm gonna take a bath so that's what's gonna happen so <laughs> is it still rolling yeah it's still rolling okay well, I'm just, gonna, I, just, I just didn't need you to, yeah, I didn't want you to get stuck on a cat food blog. Okay. Well, I'm just going to get some of this awesome organic bones. We eat um, all organic beef. So, oh, this has some good meat from this bone still. Yay, look at that. Delicious. And a waffle broth. Organic bones are amazing. If you've never had them, they're, <laughs> you probably would hate it when you first try. But to us, they're amazing. Oh, look at that. All right, so I'm gonna have some soup and I'm gonna take a bath. I'll catch you guys later. I'll get oh, you no, guys. Or keep or keep oh no, 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 no! I'm not eating. Oh, okay. I mean, it's like. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't you want the microphone and the lights and stuff? What are you? You said you weren't gonna do a blog. You're gonna do. No, I said I didn't explain at me. I can't explain it. I can hear you from here. Okay, but don't you want the microphone? Okay. Okay, so I I do a mineral bath in the morning, so I do these Epsom salts. And then I take baths in, every morning instead of um, showers. So I'll fill up my bath with the Epsom salt. It's a great thing if you have any kind of muscle pains. So I'm getting ready. Well, that's fine. I didn't all think of that. Yeah, it's really good. That's good. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right, well. Okay. So I am going to do my hair now. I um, I don't blow dry my hair. Because blow drying your hair is really bad for your hair. Um, so, but I have a lot of calyx. So I just found a new way to kind of style my hair. <coughs> so I cough because I'm healing from my bulimia like we were talking about earlier. And the weed heals. The weed is healing me. You guys, if you're not, you need, to, if you're not smoking weed, you should start considering it because especially if you're in a state that it's legal, because it is a lifesaver. So I just do my hair like this. This gets rid of my calyx. I do these little, like, big tail things. But yeah, we smoke weed all day long. So I showed you guys earlier how we do a bong hit. It actually takes a minute. It's not the easiest thing. And then um, Jarvis is going to take a bath show you guys that. So you guys, then I'm going to cook breakfast like we do. Show you guys that. But I just like to do my hair like this. is big sort of like crazy calyx. For anyone who's like, we just have some hair that just doesn't want to do anything. That's this over here. So I just pull it out of my way. It's kind of a funny hairstyle I do. But it really works for me, so I don't have to blow dry my hair. But it keeps the really crazy hair out of the way. So then it looks like pigtails for a second. And then I twist them. So it kind of looks like a, a little bit like a crown, <laughs> like a halo, but I like it because it gets those crazy pieces out of my face that don't want to style or nothing. And this is to avoid me having to blow dry my hair. I used to 
you know, keep my hair just straight down, but I'd have to blow dry it and straighten it. Now if I do this, this is for if you have any kind of crazy hair that just doesn't want to do what it wants to do. I wear a bunch of um, hair bands on my wrists. I just love that. You know, that's a thing. So I put my hair bands on after my back. And then I just clip this so it stays in place. Because otherwise it moves all around. Then defeats the purpose of flip forward. So if you clip it in place, it'll stay in like it's really nice because it just keeps your um, hair like out of your face and everything. It looks a little funny, but <laughs> it works. <laughs> One of the important things we do here is we use CBDs. Um, <laughs> we use CBDs for our face lotion, and that, that CBDs, you know, the cannabinoids for weed. Do we get this here in Las Vegas? It's amazing. That's what I put on my face to moisturize. It's the best kind of face thing I've ever used. I don't use any other products on my face. Just this lotion, the CBD lotion. <coughs> it's amazing. It's good for anti-aging and everything. This one's for my can -A. Okay, so turn it out. So you guys Okay, the Woodland Hills. Okay. <laughs> um, best stuff. And then of course, I like my Victoria's Secret perfume. I just like the body misters because they're not in this store. I don't like all the super strong perfume. So I do that. Okay. And then do my makeup. I guess I'll just do that. Do you want me to do makeup? Yeah. I guess since I only do very light makeup, that could be interesting. Most people do a lot of makeup. I just do very light makeup. Could that be interesting? Okay. I do very light makeup. This is the only makeup bag I have. It's very light makeup. Um, I don't do any face makeup because face makeup will make you break out. Um, now, if you already have blemishes, you're like, oh, I want to cover it. Try to resist. I have like a couple. I just try to just accept that because don't pick at them. Um, people will pick at their blemishes and then that's how um, they, uh, you know, end up with more blemishes. So I start out with just like a really big, these are all really cheap things. So I start out with a Revlon as my base. This one is a, a red cherry blossom they call. I do this as my overall bottom of the eyelids. Um, all, all the way up to my eyebrows. So I was never taught how to do makeup, um, and a lot of people are not. So I just um, started just playing around with it, and I still am not that good with it, but I do very simple makeup, and then it um, makes it easy. So I start with a light color like this on the bottom, rub it all over my eyelids. This stuff is very, um, it's like almost liquidy. It's kind of cool. Just rub it. So my makeup only takes about five to ten minutes. Um, so that's why the, that's kind of interesting. Where some girls it take forever, and that's all I ever do. So that one is the first one. Then I do um, a couple more colors. So first I start with that one. Next off, we do a little bit of white, just in Maybelline. This one's called Vanilla, and we start from the inside here. And we only go like halfway. Because we're now going to just start to have like different colors popping up. So that was our base color. So now we're going to do a little white over that pink. This is just give us a little variety. Um, so, you know, a lot of girls make it be so perfect. Like as you see, I'm just kind of like rubbing it and and then just rubbing it. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're using really light colors. Dark colors are very hard to do. Like you have to be very good at it if you do dark colors. So I do lighter. Um, next I do like a silver. This one is called um, 
the silver, I guess this is. And the silver, I do from in up to like, yes, like a, just a, a line. Cause it's very strong, but it gives a very interesting line there. A little variety. And now these are all super cheap makeups. Like these little things are only like $3. So the next color I do is a dark purple. I don't know what the color is because it's faded off, but it's the dark purple. That I do the whole bottom, of the, either the part that I haven't done with the other one, but I also start from the center there and then cover over here. Go more up over here because remember that one we kind of went up. Now we're going down, covering the bottom part of the eyelid with the purple. See now how we're having like a variety of colors going on with the eyelids now. Okay. Next, I do uh, this perp uh, this pinkish. It's like a very red pink. Don't know the color because it faded off. I forget. That I do in the same spot basically as the purple. But I just don't fully cover. I just kind of do a little because this is a very strong color. This is for just very simple, easy makeup and cheap. I'm almost done. Fast too. Super fast, easy, and cheap. For people that don't know. Next, I do. I like Revlon Color Stay. Uh, I like this teal color for my. This is my eyeliner. So then I just do that. Now I have all my eyeshadow, and I'm gonna do the letter. I know she did look pretty good. Oh. Thank you. And this is just like really, so you're just gonna line, these ones are really nice because they're kind of liquidy. They're not so much like a pencil, they're more like a pencil with like a liquidy. So I really like the colors today. I do the top and bottom. I'm messing up a little bit because I usually don't do it this far. I'm usually doing the other mirror, but since you guys are filming, I'm gonna do the, there's a big mirror here. But if you make a little mistake, I, I keep baby wipes around. We use baby wipes instead of toilet paper. You can baby wipe right away and then it's easier. Um, if you're, Cause you're trying to just keep it a nice line under your eye. Now it'll go crazy all over your face. Top and bottom. I also get in the inside here. You don't poke yourself in the eye. And that's, you don't want to do that cause then your eye starts watering and then it's big. Then I do the other one. certain makeup, you open your mouth, it's funny, it's just like a natural thing. And I just clean up both eyes, try and keep them consistent. You know, about the same amount, of, you wanna have them be the same, but they might not be perfect. I'm not crazy about it being perfect. For one thing, each eye is different anyways. You know, your eyes are different, like, um, I have one eye that's a little droopier than the other eye, so it don't matter how much makeup I put, that eye's always gonna look different. Now I use Maybelline. So the, the only things I use are um, Maybelline and Revlon in this set. Sometimes I'll use um, CoverGirl, but all oh, very, very cheap makeups. And I now order them from Amazon, but this one I love, it's Lashes Cover. The reason why I like this one is it's the tiniest of brushes. So mascara can end up being just so globby and such a mess, so this will not give you huge lashes, but it'll it'll bring out your lashes. So I start at the bottom. 
because this is just be, keeping it simple. Uh, my mom is sick kiss, keeping it simple, stupid. Um, so that's something about me too. My mom actually committed suicide when I was 20 in the Air Force. So that's why I got out of the Air Force. Because uh, my sister wanted me to come back home. I'm near here in California because I was stationed in Oklahoma City. But um, so a lot of my uh, trials in my life have a lot to do with, you know, my mom killed herself. And so, like, I, um, my bulimia got really bad after my mom died. I was already bulimic because I, I had eating disorders my whole life, but um, everything got intensified. So now I'm so much healthier because we worked through everything. But it's a long battle for people, you know. This and someone can be tough. So, okay, so there's my um, lashes there. And now my makeup is done. So uh, that took longer because I was explaining, but I can do it probably in about five to 10 minutes. And I do no face makeup um, because I don't like that. It makes you break out. Please resist if you can. Now, if you absolutely have something that's like just driving you up the wall, I do have in my little makeup bag um, which I haven't used in a long time. It's way down here at the bottom, it's all dirty. Just a tiny little, like this one's a cover girl, like a dab um, thing where you can maybe just dab one spot if it's just irking you so much. And then, uh, you know, you just want, like I have one right here, I could, who was driving me nuts, which is not. Put a little on there, rub it on. Um, but I just try to resist that, because then the more you put on a face makeup, the more you're gonna break out in the future. So especially like during the shutdown time, if you can resist putting on face makeup, your face will clear up. Um, more than it would with makeup. You might still have issues because uh, your face has a lot to do with your diet. You have to eat healthy to have a healthy face. And um, I also think the CBDs are a huge component too. So I'm gonna go get dressed. I think Jedi Rich is gonna take a bath. Are you gonna do a bath or do you want me to move into breakfast? What? I'm gonna get dressed. Um, do you wanna follow me into my closet? Yeah, let's show my cool closet. Oh, you should film the back of me, huh? Yeah. I'm just okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm getting dressed here. We can film that part, but so um, I'm gonna put on two of these because I actually don't like wearing bras, and I'm I have small <laughs> boobs, so that works for me. But so I'm gonna double layer this, so for, uh, it's okay for the video here. Okay. Here's my closet. So I know some people have like massive closets and stuff, I'm sure. But, um, you know, we're Jedi, we try and keep it simple, but we're about to move, so this is even gonna be, most of this is just going into storage now, but this has been my biggest closet I've ever had. Because <laughs> uh, I grew up pretty poor, and I'm so excited I have all these cool shoes, which are probably gonna stay in storage now. But that's that. So we're gonna be moving to Panama, which everything is really small really small so we're gonna have to downsize from um, where we're at now and I am ready for another bong hit I don't know if that needs to be recorded again but if Jerry Rush wants to I'm just gonna not probably talk about it I'll just come over here and do it this time so, you guys, so we do this several times a day we smoke a lot of weed just super good for your health I'm gonna do the lemon jack again. But should I stop, Jarrett? Or do you wanna keep, okay, okay. I guess that's part of the day in life. You do move around the cameras and stuff. So um, I'm gonna do some of this lemon jack again. Weed is so helpful for weight loss too. People have this misconception that weed will give you the munchies. That's only if you're not eating right. And all it's telling you is that you're not getting your nutrition. And people go for the wrong things. They go for the much. It's really telling you to eat something healthy. But once you start eating healthy, you'll find that weed actually makes you not as hungry. It's almost like an appetite suppressant. It, weed is healing me. That's why I'm coughing so much. That's what I was trying to say earlier. And especially I have this old injury that it's uh, flaring up again because it never healed properly. It's on the side here. It, I pulled my oblique muscle, I think it was. And, um, well, it was many years ago, but 
uh, when I did it, I was still bulimic and addicted to sugar. And so it healed improperly because when you only eat sugar, then your body's going to be building new building blocks with just sugar. And sugar is not a good thing for that. You want it to be like protein, like animal meat. So what happened when I injured myself, I, it hurt is so bad. I mean, it was one of the, my worst injuries where I was in, out, for, out for about a week, like in bed, it hurt so bad, but this many years ago. Well, then it didn't really bother me too much, that I, so I thought, you know, maybe a little nagging thing. And then just about a week ago, it flared up again. And I was like, oh man, that's that same spot. Because I remember like the same pain. And, um, but this time I'm healing it for good. And the weed is like clearing it out. And that's why I'm like coughing so much because it's um, it's really actually quite painful right now even as I speak because it's an old injury and people probably have injuries like that. Wherever it may be, Jerry's just, it's his hips um, right here. People get uh, these pockets. And if you start eating healthy and smoking weed, you'll heal all those old injuries. You won't have those pains anymore. Weed is healing and it also is fantastic for pain relief so if people are addicted to you know opiates and stuff a lot of times that happened because they're in pain we can oh i actually grew up a very very strict christian and no drugs no alcohol no sex <laughs> nothing like sin city um and my sister actually rebelled a bit in high school and became a little bit of a stoner. But I didn't agree with that. I did not smoke weed in high school. I actually, the first time I smoked weed, I was 21 years old. And it was when I got out of the Air Force. And this is after my mom had already killed herself and everything. I mean, I was in the Air Force and at... 20 years old my mom killed herself while I was in the Air Force that's mainly why I got out of the Air Force because I moved back to California because I was in Oklahoma City and then two years after that my brother died in a motorcycle accident so that really impacted my life yeah hey, that's okay so this, listen this is the real day in the life this is what we do anyways we make these videos and then she starts talking and then I tell her what she's doing wrong and then we get in a big fight and we cut the camera. Yeah, that's the thing. So this was... That's the day in the life. This is what we do. We, yeah. We're bloggers, I guess is what it is. So yeah. this is not uncommon for us to make this stuff. Yeah. But like if I'm trying to say like this and that's like... And then usually what happens is... Uh, so that's what happens. And then usually often our fights are usually often about opinions about art. Right. And... See, people, they wanted this to be natural. Uh, like, this is actually what we do <laughs> all the time. It <laughs> films me uh, doing exactly what we're doing, whether it be talking about nutrition, talking about weed, talking about whatever. Um, and so this is our total setup, like, all the time. Right, and that took some getting used to, because we've been married for seven, seven years. We're all going on seven years. So... I mean, every time, I mean, she'd gotten used to it, but it'd be like, okay, here, let me film you. And well, even this morning, I didn't know we were doing this. I forgot. And um, I reminded her yesterday was, and the day before. It's my fault. She didn't remember, is my point. Yeah. Dude, this is my project. So, this is. <laughs> so, I didn't remember. So, um, like, yeah, I was a little bit shocked when you put the camera in my face, but it was okay. But then I, I wanted to take a bath because my side was hurting so bad. So, we take baths, which, um, if you have time, especially during this COVID, when you're at home, mm. take a bath. Oh, may I interrupt you here? Not if you have time. No one ever has time to take a bath. You have to stop and make time. Right. And that's the whole point. Is that you stop for an hour and just sit there and stretch and right? Yeah. I mean I mean you're never gonna have an hour, not on caffeine. And no one has a spare hour on caffeine, am I right? Yeah. How much is this wonderful soup? Right, so we eat yeah. breakfast, we smoke weed, I work on art. Uh, we both work hard. We both work hard. Uh, she's usually, but she usually wakes up a little later. Like I go to bed earlier, and then she stays up a little later, and then she comes to bed, and it, we're like working shifts on the arc. Yeah. <laughs> it's a small space. I mean, I think it works out because when I wake up, like if I have to go to the bathroom, there's only one bathroom. You know, we rarely have bathroom struggles, primarily because we're we're a sl just slightly offset on our sleeping schedules, mm -hmm. just slightly. Yeah. And that doesn't mean we don't have sex because we don't ever have sex before bed. We go to bed right. when we're tired. Yeah. 
Why would you have during the day? You have sex when you're feeling good. Hey man, I'm feeling good right now. But like to, to do it after everything, especially after dinners and then, that's why oh. people stop having sex because if you're gonna try and do it then yeah, if you're gonna try to have sex after dinner at 9 p.m. after work <laughs> after kids are bed after all that's it. Now that's that. Well, I guess the thing is we don't have kids. It's probably why they wait to that. <laughs> my parents didn't. Just so you know, it was different. It was in the 70s. I often walked in on my parents, and they often had more than just them. <laughs> vegan is not the way to go. It's too high of a sugar diet. You gotta eat meat. Who came up with vegan? Someone that really didn't get it because you don't want to eat that much sugar. Even their meat options, their like fake meat options, have too much sugar to to protein. Ratio. Here's a very interesting thing. People are. This is how misinformed they are about food. The most important thing everyone does. Everyone eats, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, oh. but, this, but this is how misinformed they are about food. Yeah. Is every time we talk about organic, they say, oh, what's it like being a vegan? Yeah, I'm like, it's the opposite of what we are. But the point is, is that somehow the, the, the vegetable industry or whatever, someone vegan industry got this idea that organics and vegans are all kind of the same. Well, they think it's the same, uh, the same <laughs> thing. Like they think, what it is is they think to be, they think organic means you're vegan. They, they have, this is the thing. You can be an organic vegan. That is an option. All organics are food from nature. So if someone on a vegan diet could choose to eat all organics, but organics have nothing to do with being vegan. Let's market to vegans. And now they have vegan ice cream. Yeah, and vegan fast food. Yeah. So that's where the leap, leap is. So everyone who says they're vegan thinks they're, they're just this struggling thing, but all they're eating is fast food and sugar. Yeah, it's a hot, very, very high sugar diet. That's why you will gain weight on a vegan diet. Bottom line, is if you don't eat animal protein, you're gonna be consuming too much sugar. Because every substitute for animal protein has too much sugar. Like, because you want your meat as the ratio of protein, I'm getting all tongue tied this morning, but the ratio of protein to sugar is like whatever the number to zero, because there's zero sugar in meat. But when it comes to their meat options, so let's say we have seven grams of our meat, zero grams of sugar. Their seven grams of vegan meat has usually around four, three to four grams of sugar. So, and then, so multiply that all day, whatever you're eating that you think is your, even just your protein option, already has X amount of grams of sugar. And then they're gonna eat sugar on top of that for the most part, because they're eating a lot of fruits and veggies. But so everything they're consuming is just so much sugar. And they eat a lot of smoothies and things, which are just straight sugar, and it's liquid sugar right into your system. So you're gonna gain weight, you're gonna store fat. And if you want to be lean like us, you have to eat animal meat. What they're doing is, they're going to the gym or they're, they're climbing mountains or they're running marathons to basically outrun the massive amounts of sugar they're consuming. Yeah, and compensate for eating bad. They're basically, okay, you have different forms of eating disorders. The one that people don't account for very often is the one of overeating and then exercising. It's called, actually called exercisorexia, where you try to exercise more than you're eating in the sense so you're like, I know I'm eating too much, but I'm gonna exercise that off. That's still an eating disorder because you're still over consuming and then you're using some form to get rid of it, whether it be throwing up, whether it be laxatives, whether it be exercising. You see, it's still overeating. It's an overeating disorder that now we're gonna compensate. But the exercise one is very allowed in our society. It's actually um, uh, something that they make a joke about, like, oh, everyone in the gym after uh, a holiday or something, who's gonna be there because we all overate at the right, holiday, right. you know what I mean? Right. Like we make jokes about how we overeat. And one thing that's interesting, we're moving to Panama, they don't do that there. Mm -hmm. We were so taken back by the small quantities of food. We hated it when we were there because we overate. We were we had to order like three we portions. We were so addicted to sugar. 
And now we're going back and we're going to fit right in because we eat so little now. Um, cause, and not like by starving ourselves. We are full all the time. It's we figured out what to eat so that we're not hungry all the time. And what makes you hungry is the sugar, the constant sugar. Sugar also turns off the sensor in your brain to tell you you're full. So if you continue to eat sugar, you'll never feel full. So it's just, it's a vicious cycle and it's an endless cycle right. of wanting sugar. And the thing is, see, I learned all this from, from did I draw it? I, I've always been a person who worked out but then in my older age what happened was is that I lost my I just I just couldn't keep up the caffeine was actually making me more tired yeah and then tell my body to store the fat that's what she that's what I learned from this one yeah so the caffeine we uh, do you want me to get into that yeah that, just real sorry quick. I didn't mean to cut you off earlier earlier uh, but yeah so the problem with caffeine here's the quick thing about caffeine because we were see we do this instead of caffeine then. yeah so yeah we do weed we do weed and water the only beverage we consume is water and that's the way it should be I even forgot that when was the last time we consumed something other than oh, water oh um, was March 24th uh, 2018 and the reason why I know that day because so it was my water birthday person. It was my birthday, and it was the last day we decided to have caffeine. We were actually down to tea at the time because we had already cut out ca- coffee. We were trying it's to wean off. Those sports drinks? No, we, no, we, cut, oh, out, yeah, we cut out all those. Yeah, we cut out those energy drinks. But we used to live on those. Yeah, right? we would drink the energy drinks and coffee. We were huge caffeine addicts. I loved Starbucks. I drink frappuccinos like crazy. But um, so we were already had been weaning ourselves off, so we were down to just tea. But we decided no caffeine finally because it finally dawned on me because I couldn't get over I was having all this issue this candida overgrowth was a whole other thing from my bulimia um, which is everyone gets from sugar addiction it's a yeast infection and it's from sugar addiction anyway so finally the way to get rid of that I figured out by cutting out caffeine but the problem with caffeine you say oh what's the problem with caffeine the caffeine's good for you this and that and the other Here's what caffeine does. Caffeine suppresses your senses. What it does is it makes you feel less hungry and less tired, uh, but you are not those things. All it does is it dulls your senses, so it dulls all of your hormones. Well, one of the senses that it dulls that you don't want dulled is your hormone for insulin. And insulin tells your body, um, it, re- it regulates the sugar in your body. Well, can uh, I interject something on insulin? Yeah, of course. Insulin. If you if you take a pure shot of insulin, if you take too much of it, it will like uh, too much insulin in your body will kill you. Yeah. It will cease. It'll make you stop breathing. It'll, yeah, like diabetics have to be okay, careful. Okay, so you work backwards from there, releasing the insulin. So let's just start there. Like, yeah. So like if, insulin, you don't want too much insulin. You don't want any insulin. Wait, oh, you have to have some insulin. I know, but you insulin. don't want it. No, well, no, it's, right? no, it's not true. No, insulin regulates your sugar. It's part of your. Oh. You have to have insulin. But, okay, but it's it going to kill you, though, if you drink it. Okay. <laughs> He's on it. <laughs> no, I'm trying to say. No, no, so that does not hold on. So, um, insulin what? regulates the sugar in your body. So, diabetics have to take shots of insulin because they can't regulate their sugar properly and their insulin is out of whack. You want insulin, you just don't want too much of it. You want all of these things, you just don't want too much in your body. Like, people think, oh, these things are bad. Even candida is in your body. But an overgrowth is the issue. So here's the thing. Insulin um, also tells your body to store fat. So the problem with caffeine is every time you have caffeine, you numb your senses, you, you dull your insulin hormone so it stops producing as much insulin. And then your body gets out of whack, your blood sugar rises, so then your body says, let's produce more insulin. But then when the coffee wears off, all those things start producing all the other insulin that they were before. So you just have way too much insulin. So what Jenna Rich was saying, you don't want too much insulin, it can actually kill you. And what it's doing is actually just making everyone fat. Because insulin tells your body to store fat and to go into like, uh, a dormant mode be like a bear in hibernation well you don't want to be telling yourself that every time you have caffeine people are trying to have caffeine to get up and get going instead you're having caffeine and telling your body to go into rest be like a bear store fat for winter not what you want every day so that's caffeine will make you fat and it dehydrates you water 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 especially mineral water 
Mineral water is very important. Okay, are you done with doing yep. the section? Yep. Okay. Hey guys, okay, so we fed the... I'm just gonna roll in. You do your breakfast. We're gonna skip my bath for now again. This is what happens okay. every day, by the way. We're gonna I do... I set up to do a bath and what happens? Yeah, and then he, like, sometimes doesn't even get a bath for a couple of days because we get busy. Well, project after project. I bathe every day. Sometimes I have to be like, okay, it's time to get in there now. Because he gets so locked in the studio working and doing projects. And um, I'm a girl, so I bathe every day. But you know what? We lived in a cave. Oh, did you say that? We lived in a cave. Oh, okay, now we haven't gotten in the cave yet, but let me hold on. So remember them guys were feeding them? Yep. Okay, I showed you at night. They go down there at night now. The moth that went to your light now. He likes it. He's oh, in cool. the light. Oh, cool. We're all friends. So here they are. It's Saturday, July 25th, 2020. Oh, 500 hours, 57 minutes. I'm going to tag and scan this whole location. Tag and scan me and Joe Rich. Let's tag um, all of Las Vegas and Panama, our, our new place, and everyone here that's watching. Clear everyone for everyone. Get all these stuff out of here. Um, let's have an amazing day. Let's have fun uh, in the day in the life and reward everyone so similarly, especially. Everyone. Yeah, Kevin McDonald out there. Like Kevin McDonald, yeah. Yeah, the guy would probably make a cool art movie. Right? I have a cool question for you, real quick. What did you think when you saw the movie Touching the Void? Oh, man. For one thing, I, <laughs> I kept thinking, why did this guy continue? I would have just given up a long time. That movie was intense. I can't believe it. I, I was insane. Uh, I cried. It was... Here, I'm going to take trash out. Oh, I feel already done. You guys, I take the trash out all the time. I don't like tr tr trash. So I'm going to... Um, this is my... All the time. Like, a million times. I live in an apartment, so it's cool. So you... Uh, you know, they have the dumpsters, which is nice. Because I don't know how people only have, like, those two cans that you get. Like... Because we drink up all these waters, so you can get a bunch of trash from them. Unfortunately, I wish they could be a little bit more... Um, like, I know people grab them from the trash, so I figure they get recycled because the homeless people get them out of the trash. So I let them do my recycling because I can't, don't have a car, so I can't be dealing with recycling. So um, I'm gonna, let me... When we, in Vegas, you have to do things like put on hats and sunglasses when you go outside. So I have to get my sunglasses and my hat. Because it's very uh, sunny here, and um, I learned that I've been living here. Wow, you cannot go out without your sun. It's, well, I have very light eyes too. I have hazel eyes. I was taught to always like those family, but we grew up a little different. <coughs> brown one's here. She's my favorite right there. She only comes once in a while. But my other favorite is the one that looks like a cow print over there. He my, he my little fella. But we feed the pigeons even though it's illegal. Good thing we're leaving Las Vegas. <laughs> I love it. We're literally leaving Las Vegas like the movie. And because we can say that we feed them because actually they're, they're going to find us if... Uh, Wait, we got caught feeding the pigeons here. Yeah, and also it's illegal. But first, they were just gonna find us here. But they say that the cops. I love pigeons. They're absolutely amazing. People call them flying rats, which shouldn't be offensive because rats are amazing too. But they're trying to be offensive because people don't like rats or pigeons. But they're actually the cutest birds. I mean, because they're huge, like their bodies compared to their legs. They come back to the same spot forever. It's just the cutest thing. And they're also very and they well stick with their partner. With each other. Yeah, and they, we've watched many pigeons mourn when they lose their partner, and oh. it is. Okay. Well, I was um, going to say, you know, it's cool we live on the third floor, so you actually get a lot of exercise. That's probably right, you know. Um, we don't have a car. And I do walking all day. That's it. We don't go to a gym, so people think when we say, um, 
you know, don't go to the gym. It doesn't mean don't be active. It means don't be like working out to compensate for overeating. Like eat normal food and then just do normal exercise. Like walking to the trash, you know, filming yourself all day like we do. Um, I come out here several times a day, so that's uh, you can get some really good exercise with things. People are so lazy about taking the trash out of it, or they do try to do it all at once. Do it every time you have trash. There's some exercise right there. No need for a gym, especially if you live in Las Vegas in the summer. So people think they need a gym, but just your daily normal things of taking your trash out.